We are being told that the last Chief Minister of Undivided Andhra Pradesh is joining the BJP, as you can see on your screens at the moment. This move actually comes a few weeks after he left the Congress, but believe it or not, by sending a one-line resignation letter to the party chief, Malikarjun Kharge. Now you can see Kiran Kumar Reddy, the last Chief Minister of Undivided Andhra Pradesh, has joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, Kiran Kumar had actually resigned from the Congress party back in 2014-2 to actually protest against the then UPA government's decision to bifurcate Andhra Pradesh and carve out Telangana. This man on your screens formed his own party and even fielded candidates in some constituencies in the 2014 elections. However, with no electoral gains, the former CM stayed away from politics for a long time before he rejoined the Congress again in 2018. But now, as you can see, he has joined the BJP. I'm told Pralad Joshi is currently speaking. Let's listen in. United Andhra Pradesh ke char bar MLA the. He was a four time MLA. And uh, he was a minister also. Kiran Kumar Reddy himself. He was a MLA four times MLA, he was speaker, he was chief whip and you all, all know in a very crucial time he was chief minister also. And uh, if I can tell you Kiran Kumar Reddy has a good cricketer also. Yes. <laughs> he has played up to Ranji and uh, he opened his innings in the Congress and now <laughs> after closing that innings in the Congress, now he is opening a new innings and I hope he will score and he will bat very well in the Bharatiya Janata Party. By joining of uh, Kiran Kumar Reddy, as I have initially itself told, under the leadership of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, when I met him few months back, he was in Congress party in the airport. It was an accidental meet. At that time itself he was telling, I am so much influenced by the personality of Sri Narendra Modi ji. And not only that, the fight against the corruption what Sri Narendra Modi ji has taken over <coughs> in the country from last so many years, that is really exemplary. And I am really very much influenced by the way of working and the anti-corruption stand, the fight against the corruption which is being done in the last nine years by Sri Narendra Modi, I am really impressed. This is what he had told it to me. And at that time itself I had told, person like you should work under the leadership of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. So now, Few months back, he has decided and uh, he has chosen a good day today. Yesterday, after Hanuman Jayanti, today he is taking a big leap and jumping into the Bharati Janata Party. So, I once again welcome him and he will be a good strength, big strength as far as. Our fight against corruption is going on under the leadership of Prime Minister Shinarendra Modi in the entire country. He will be a big strength because his image as a MLA, as a minister, as a speaker was very, very clean and that's why he, it will be a big, big boost for Bharati Janata Party Andhra Pradesh. I once again welcome him and uh, uh, I hope uh, under the leadership of uh, Sri Kiran Kumar Reddy by, by his joining, there will be some more activities will be unfolded in the state of Andhra Pradesh and also Telangana. He, he was, uh, as I already said, he was the chief minister for the undivided Andhra Pradesh and his influence is quite well in Telangana also. 
and uh, he will ex- uh, he has promised that he will extensively tour and organize the party in the both the states dhanyawad pehla joshi ji mera agrah hai adarnay karan kumar reddy ji se ki media ke sathiyon ko sambodhit kare thank you sir for uh, joining me into the party i, I thank the president of the party shri nadda ji and will surely work under the leadership of the honorable prime minister mr modi ji amit shah ji and all of your leadership <coughs> I'll just finish my this thing in a few minutes. I'll just give a small background, and then I'll go. My association with Congress parties started with nearly my families in 1952, nearly for 60 years plus. My father was MLA four times from 1962. I was MLA four times. and i never imagined that i'll have to leave the party my father died very young in fact the opposition party were ready to leave the seat for me if i changed party i said no i will continue in the congress party <clears throat> unfortunately what has happened is state after state due to bad decisions and wrong decisions of the congress high command the party is getting damaged totally in all the states they don't interact with the people they don't take the opinions of the leaders it is not a story in one state it is a story throughout the country there is a old saying which says my king is very intelligent he doesn't think on his own he doesn't listen to anyone's advice i think you understood what i meant they want authority to control but they don't want to work hard they don't want responsibility see if we want to stitch a dress we'll have to go to a tailor to good good tailor to stitch a dress we can't ask a barber to stitch a dress because he uses the scissors so who whom they have to assign a particular job due to lack of interaction they do not know which leader the characters of the leaders or who should be assigned what jobs in a state for the party to go forward a true leader is someone who meets people who understands and assesses the problems of the state assigns the problems to eminent leaders who can deliver in the state who can do course correction if required all this is required to know everyone thoroughly unless you interact with people you don't know who is what see if you take two examples one is yesterday i think bjp foundation day 34 years back the first election of bjp 1980 they won two seats one in andhra pradesh one in gujarat Right as you can see Kiran Kumar Reddy who served as the Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh has now joined the BJP in Delhi Akhilesh is joining us with the latest update currently over the phone line Akhilesh another setback for the Congress in the south with another migration from the Congress to the BJP 
Yes, right. In fact, yesterday it was A.K. Antony's son, Mr. Anil Antony uh, from Kerala, who joined the BJP, giving a setback to the Congress party in Kerala. And now today, another uh, senior Congress leader uh, from Andhra Pradesh, Mr. N. Kiran Reddy, has joined BJP. Remember, he was the uh, chief minister of undivided uh, Andhra Pradesh. He was the last chief minister. And uh, he was opposing the uh, uh, bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh. And he protested and he resigned uh, once the uh, Telangana was formed. And he formed his own party. And he contested on all the seats, but lost deposits on all the seats. Later, he merged his party to the Congress, and he was for some time not active. But BJP hopes that by bringing him, as a, the message can be sent in Karnataka that the Congress is disintegrating. The leaders from the Congress party are joining the BJP, and BJP also hopes that in the Rajasthan area uh, he may help the BJP in the upcoming assembly elections. So this is BJP's strategy as far as the. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kiran Reddy is concerned, and BJP is also hoping that you know the message is also sent across the nation that on the one hand, Congress party is accusing uh, Narendra Modi government of all malfeasances, but Mr. Modi is uh, attacking the Congress party on the corruption plank, and the Congress leaders are not supporting Rahul Gandhi on his uh, attack on Mr. Modi, and that's why they are quitting the Congress party. Akhilesh, as always, thank you so much for joining us with the latest update and contextualizing the entire matter for us.